What's good guys, before we get started the video, quick disclaimer, this video is meant for cats who are looking to drop serious money on some good audio. Now if that ain't you, you know what to do unfortunately. Let's get started with the video. Alright, so this is the video I did promise you guys. I told you I'm gonna do everything in a sense. We're gonna go with the beam, we're gonna go with two, uh, two Sonos ones, we're gonna switch it up to threes. Then we're gonna switch it up to fives, as well as I'm gonna put the play bar here. And basically we're gonna do the same thing. I also have the sub in the back, so we're gonna play with that. Basically this video is just gonna give you a basic understanding of the sense of the surround sound that uh, Sonos offers, as well as what's best for you. Now, is it worth it for you to get the beam? Is it worth it for you to get the play bar? Is, Ale is Alexa really part of your life? If it's not, you know, basically those Q and A questions that I'm gonna basically try to answer in this video. Now, also just a quick heads up, I have a basically a playlist that has a bunch of Sonos videos. I did reviews on everything that I that I'm basically gonna show in this video. So definitely make sure you guys check out that playlist. Now, straight off the bat, you guys could see this setup right over here. Now, these are the two black Sonos ones. Now, of course, they come in black and white. Any of these, uh, the beam as well as two colors, black and white. Yeah, so these are the two Sonos ones as well paired up with the beam. Now, if you guys have if you guys have Alexa, definitely turn it off because I'm gonna probably say that a lot. Now, paired with Alexa, again, if that's something that you use, it's pretty cool in a sense. You could ask it a bunch of questions, weather, you could tell it to play different music on Spotify's playlist, which I do once in a while, but that's pretty neat. Now, why I basically upgraded to the ones instead of the play ones i honestly think they're basically the same uh built in the same in the, in the sense of speaker the same is because of the color scheme i like it all black the problem is i had with the play one it wasn't all black so that's just basically the setup that i went with now let's talk about price now like i said this video is a tendency cats want to drop money good audio is not cheap if you cash on to buy a 4k tv that's going to run you a few hundred dollars maybe even a few thousand dollars so Listen, paired up with good audio, that, you know, that crappy TV, well, not a crap, that 4K TV with crappy audio is no bueno, as I like to say. You want some good audio. This is basically the setup. If you got the bread, this is the setup that you want to honestly, in my opinion, cop. It's honestly, guys, it's flawless. Now, when I did review the Beam, I basically said that this, it's, it's a good, it's a really good sound bar. Now, when I first got it off the box, I put it on and I was like, yo, this, this is, sounds a little flat, it sounds weird. So I quickly opened the app, put a bass and treble all the way up, and then I started hearing that, you know, that thumping, that, that bumping, that I like to say. But basically what I'm trying to say is this, when you, get, when you first get the beam, you wanna play with the bass and treble in your own preference, you wanna turn it up because it sounds a little flat. Now, getting these two, I mean, this ain't expensive. This is gonna run you, it's gonna be like $900. This is 400, this is 500, so, you know, this is $900. So basically $1,000 you wanna essentially spend on, on an audio system. Now, remember, this is basically, I'm doing as a surround uh, setup. I'm not just doing it as individual speakers and you could get the, um, of course, you could get the play bar, uh, the, the beam separately and then you could add them on. But I'm saying is if you cop it on Amazon, if you get them Best Buy, if you get them Microsoft, any retailer, you know, you get it as a combo. Now, in my opinion, this sounds absolutely amazing. Now, like I said, if you're gonna get the beam, it's good for a small apartment. So if you got, if you live out in the city, if you live in Manhattan, you got that small ass apartment, you know, that small ass studio, you're probably paying, my God, like 25 to 3,000 a month. I'd probably say rock something small. A play bar, I'll get into the play bar later. Nah, I'm not gonna say now. But play bar is probably, you know, in a sense, if you got some, you know, queen size studio, some much bigger, you know, get Queens, Brooklyn, Bronx, if you're out there in the city, you want something small. But all right, let me get back to the, uh, <laughs> but as I was saying, or if you got a bedroom. Now, if you got a bedroom, I'll probably say definitely throw out the beam in there. It'll be dope. Now, with the whole thing with Alexa, I was reading some reviews about the beam. Some cats was telling me about, oh, Alexa, blah, blah, blah. Personally, I use Alexa once in a blue. All right, I really don't use Alexa more than I probably should. Honestly, Alexa listens to me more rather than me using it. If that makes any sense so for me alexa i really don't care for alexa to be honest with you guys uh, again this is my opinion so I i'll say whatever the hell i want to say so if you guys you know i'm sorry because i, I read some other review some comments cats was hating but i really don't use alexa for me i don't care the reason why i like the beam is basically it's, it's a size and it's all black now i did mention i do hate this uh, mesh crap again 
is just garbage. I don't know why they won't mesh. The play, ba the, uh, the play base uh, had no mesh. It was just aluminum grill, which was fire. And of course, with that uh, big ass Sonos logo again, I don't need that as well. But overall, if you are looking for the setup, I'd probably say this is more the intermediate setup. This is something for you that you don't want to spend too much money. Of course, I'm going to put in some, you know, threes and fives later on. We're going to pl play around with the sound, you know, but this is more, in, if you're just getting into the Sonos ecosystem, I'd probably say this is the best beginning setup you could get. Now you could get the play, uh, you could get the beam, you could connect it to the TV, and then you could get two ones. You got, you could either, well, if you want Alexis to be utilized with, with the with the beam, you're gonna need to get two Sonos ones. If you don't care, you can get two play ones and then you could have basically the beam just be the source of Alexa. Because unfortunately you can't put um, the ones and um, you can't have one Sonos one and one play one and then basically uh, create a stereo pair. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way, which pretty sucks. So I honestly, if you're gonna get the beam, I'd probably say get the two ones because all black and all white is gonna look absolutely fire. But quickly, let's just get into the audio test. So I have it basically set up as a um, as surround sound. So I have, this is my left channel, this is my right channel, and this is basically my center. So I'm gonna play some music right now, and uh, we're just gonna see how it basically sounds, and then we're gonna slowly turn it up, turn it up, as well as I'm gonna connect my sub. Now, you know, this is getting a sub is a little more extreme, guys, you know, but this is kosher tech, so I have it. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna connect this up and I'm gonna, look, you guys are not gonna understand the, the basically sound. You guys won't hear it just to, unfortunately. So I'm gonna tell you exactly how it sounds and what the benefits are. So let's get to it. This is without the sub. Now, the reason why I always use this song, guys, because I don't want to get blasted in comments is because I don't want to get hit with copyright strikes. I got um, um, I got a uh, license with Epidemic Sound, so I use this song. So please, guys, don't hate. Unfortunately, I don't want to get blasted with copyright um, <laughs> strikes. But anyways, let me just give you guys a head up. It sounds fire. It sounds absolutely amazing. Like I said, I'm on the app. I turned up the bass. I turned up the treble all the way up for both the ones and the... Um, and the beam. It sounds absolutely amazing for the price. It's not that expensive if you want really good audio. It's a thousand dollars. Like I said, if you're trying to cop a TV for a stack and you want a good audio, drop another thousand, you'll understand or you'll appreciate it much more. It sounds absolutely amazing. Now, let me turn up the sub. Let me enable sub. Now the sub is gonna run you another $700. So, you know, this is already going up in price. That's the, that's the problem with Sonos, you know, it's just, it gets addictive, but all right, let's turn on the sub. All right, so I enabled the sub. Now, shut off the back, guys. If you guys live in a small, <laughs> if you guys live in a small apartment, and if you guys got some asshole ass neighbors, I'm telling you that sub is dangerous. That thing straight up dumps, man. It's insanely, you feel your whole, at least for me, I feel my whole apartment shake when the sub's up. Now, I didn't essentially turn up the sub levels, um, the, excuse me, the base levels all the way up. I, I slightly went all the way close to the finishing point, but not as too much because it just, it gets too crazy, but let's run it. I'm about to lose my mind, I'm going crazy. Lately I'm feeling every day the same. Also one quick thing, once the sub is enabled, the audio enhancements just from the, uh, from either, from all the speakers get much more louder. And the insane thing is the bass. Everything comes from that sub and it's just amazing. So I'm just gonna close my eyes and pretend that I'm not here. Cause I just wanna dance. I just wanna dance. Don't you wanna party? Sitting in the crowd feeling heartbeat. Everybody's carefree. Everybody's carefree. Don't you wanna party? Sitting in the crowd feeling heartbeat. Don't you wanna party? Stay 
Man, I, I, it sounds crazy. It, I can't even turn it all the way up, guys, because <laughs> I got neighbors and it's just gonna be absolutely insane. But I mean, listen, I'll tell you this right now, man. Paired up, rocking this setup, it's gonna run you, shit, man, like, you know, 1700, 1600. I mean, look, like I said, this video is intended for cats who want to spend money. If you got the bread like that, you ain't gonna regret the setup. This, this setup is absolutely fire. You could always add on a sub later, but I'll tell you this, if you get the sub, it's night and day with audio. It's absolute night and day because like I said, the bass that you get from the sub and essentially how everything gets louder in the in the in the vocals from from the entire from the entire setup is just absolutely insane. It's like the sub the sub just a, a, it like gives it a, a a substantial enhancement boost, which is crazy, but this setup is absolutely fire. The next setup we're going to switch over is I'm going to put uh, the the two play 3s without essentially using Alexa. Like I said, with Alexa, I really don't care for it. I really personally don't use it. If you guys use it, you know, you do what you gotta do. But for me, Alexa, uses, she listens to me more than I ever use it. So I really don't care. I don't ask it all those goddamn questions. I don't, I don't pair it with my Amazon Echo. I just don't care for it. Like I said before, and I'm gonna repeat this again, the only reason why I cop the ones is because they're all black and they just look absolutely fire. All right, let me get the threes and let's go do the threes now too. All right, so now we got two play three set up with the beam. Now this setup is gonna run you $1,000. Now it matters if you get them on sale or not. Just a quick correction. I said, uh, I think the two Sonos ones I said is gonna run you 1,100 or 1,000. Just a quick correction, it's $800. So that's $800, $200 more, this is $1,000. If you add the sub, that's like $1,700. That's, you know, it's a bit pricey. This is more of, I, I would probably say this is more of a jerk setup. You know, this is like, Two play threes as I would say, your rears with the beam. I mean, it's just, it's gonna sound insane, especially with the bass. Now, just a quick update on the specs, and I should have done that on the ones as well. The ones basically have one speaker and a tweeter. These guys have two speakers on each side with a tweeter in the center. So, I mean, the threes honestly pack a punch. Now, if you're a jerk, you know, if you just wanna piss off your neighbors, <laughs> the landlord got the eviction letter, the eviction letter ready for your ass because your ass is gonna be at the apartment. I'll probably say this is the setup for you, but it sounds amazing. Let's just stop. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the song. Uh, I will uh, disable the sub first, and then I'm gonna enable the sub. All right, so the sub is disabled. Let's play the music. I've got to listen. I'm So let me, it's just insane. It's honestly insane bass and trouble with the threes. Let me add on the sub. Let's see how it sounds with the sub. All right, so the sub is enabled. Let's turn it on. guys i'm telling you this is insane the two play threes with the sub enabled it sounds crazy even if you don't have the sub enabled if you don't have the sub at all with the play threes it's probably going to be honestly more just more than enough now especially for music it's going to be just absolutely amazing for the rears i'm not even talking about turning on the tv yet and putting in i'm going to show you guys that a bit later just we're doing it just for now for music it just honestly sounds absolutely insane Man, if you're gonna go with the sub, I, look, you got money to drop, then just get the sub, get the whole ecosystem, you're not gonna regret it at all. With paired up with the beam, it sounds good. You know, get the play bar, the bass, you know, it's gonna be a little more, more insanity. But overall in this setup, it honestly sounds absolutely amazing. The only thing I would say about the play threes is just the aesthetic appeal. I, I'm just, it looks, it doesn't look as good as the ones. Now, you know, if they're gonna release new threes, you know, I wanted it to be all black, of course, the grills, 
you know, it's just gonna look a lot, it's gonna look more fire. But overall, the setup, $4,000, you know, like I said, you get your 4K TV for $1,000, you know, and invest a little more on the audio. Believe me, it's it's gonna pay off. It's gonna pay off uh, much better than that. You know, that TV you just got because that audio is gonna last you longer. And you're gonna appreciate it a lot more rather than just using the uh, the audio for the uh, for the speakers. All right. So now I got the two Play Fives. Now I kept them on my speaker stands, the Cavo speaker stands. I did make a review about them. I'm gonna throw a card up there. Now these stands are absolutely fire. So I left them on the stands. So now this setup is gonna, man, this setup is, like I said, this is, a, this is a kosher tech setup, man. This is what I rock with. Now they're both 500 each. You play, you pair this with this, so it's a $1,400 setup. Now if you add a sub, that's around two grand. So this is, you know, this is the, it's just absolute insanity, which I love. That's why I'm making this video. So I got the sub off. I got everything paired up to surround. Let's turn it on and let's hear how it sounds. Let's go. It's, it's just absolute insanity with <laughs> with the fives, man. It's just, it's crazy. Now, if you guys are just audio heads and you honestly don't care to uh, put on a soundbar to your TV, you don't you don't watch TV, you, you just don't care for a soundbar, I'll, I'll definitely say get the fives for music because with, with the fives, it's, 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 it's completely insane. Just a quick overhead, just a quick um, spec uh, overview of the fives, we have three three um, firing woofers, and you got three uh, tweeters. So you know, six basically six speakers in there. It just it's absolutely insane with the fives. This is why I rock the fives. I absolutely love the uh, the play fives for surround sound. Now I'm gonna enable the sub. Now I know what's gonna happen when I enable the sub. Everything's gonna start shaking. It's 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 gonna be absolute lunacy in here. But I'm about to enable the sub. So we're gonna we're gonna see how it sounds. Let's go. All right. So the sub is enabled. Like I said, when when the sub gets enabled, everything gets more enhanced and much more louder. The bass from the sub is absolutely insane. Your apartment is gonna shake. Now, if you live in a house, listen. You live in a house. It is what it is for you. I don't live in a house. So again, this is coming from, I guess, from an ap apartment lifestyle. But once the sub is enabled, it's absolutely crazy. I, so it's enabled. I got the play five. Yeah, I'm so excited for this. Let's go. I'm about to lose my mind, I'm going crazy Lately I've been feeling every day's the same So I'm just gonna close my eyes and pretend that I'm not here Cause I just wanna dance, I just wanna dance Don't you wanna party? Sitting in the crowd feeling hard Guys, you guys won't understand I mean obviously you guys won't hear the difference I'm telling you the difference it's absolutely night and day, man. With the sub, it's it's crazy. It's it really, really is crazy. The music sounds absolutely insane. The fives are just absolutely, absolutely amazing. Now you could rock the setup. To be honest with you, without the sub, it's gonna sound as good because the sub is seven hundred dollars. It's like the play bar, so it's you know a bit on the pricey side. But if you got the cash, definitely get the sub. It's worth the investment. But it still sounds really good without the sub. Um, if you just get, if you just get two fives, put them in the house and just let it rock, you don't even have to connect the sub, but if you connect the sub, it's, it's, it's honestly even going to sound even more insane. But music wise, like I said, with the beam, it sounds crazy. Now, what I want to do is I want to connect the, my play bar. It's right over there. So I want to connect the play bar to the TV and we're basically going to do, all, um, uh, just just TV audio because if I put the play bar here, it's honestly I'll tell you guys the play bar sounds better It has much more speakers. You have much more bass. You have much much more trouble from the play bar to be frank with you uh, This has only five uh, speakers built inside with tweeters that has nine So, you know the more the better <laughs> for sound bars. I mean obviously for audio So I'm not gonna put it here and bore you guys. So let's connect the uh, the play bar and then we're gonna connect the the beam and then we're gonna see how basically the audio is from the TV now what I'm basically gonna play for the TV is basically most of uh, 
audio scenes. It's not going to be too much like music and, and stuff like that because I don't want to get a copyright uh, strike. So, uh, so let's get to it. All right, so behind me, I got the beam set up to my TV. So I got the beam on. I'm going to show you guys the beam. And I got this, my sub, which I was filming, and I basically don't have space for it in the room. I'll show it to you guys as well right here too. All right, so this is the beam. This little guy over here. And now I'm the sub that when I was filming, my sub was right here. All right, so it was chilling right here with the beam. This is where I got the beam right over there. And then let me show you guys. I'm going to start off with the ones first. And then through the ones, then I'm going to put on um, my fives and my threes. But then I'm going to switch off the beam. And then I'm going to put the, the, the play bar because just enough of the beam already. Let me give you guys a quick tour how I got everything set up. I mean, it should look fire. You guys tell me for yourself. So, all right, so I just got... <laughs> So I just put the one right on top of the uh, on the, the, the Play 5 uh, Kavos uh, speaker stand because I had no space for them. But I got one here in the corner. And of course, that's where the magic happens right there. <laughs> and I got one right here in the uh, other corner. So I got, so I'm rocking the ones right now. So as you guys can see, the indicator light is on. So it's the ones that I'm rocking right now. And then the optimal place for me to sit is gonna be on this couch, right, right there since everything is gonna be in the middle Everything's gonna be in the middle and it's gonna look fire. And I got Doctor Strange playing. So I'm gonna take the remote and we're gonna turn it on. Look at that. Look at that shit. It's a fucking movie theater, man. Paying $15 to see a movie? You tripping, man. Get a Sono setup, shit's free. Hold up, guys. That's all the way down there. Now, I just want you guys to hear that audio that's coming. Master Kaecilius, that ritual will bring you only sorrow. You hear that music? That's dope. Come here, come here. Let's check this out, guys. It's crazy. Right, that's fire. Now it's stumped because the bass is on. They're stumping. Uh, there's music playing. I'm not trying to get busted with copyright uh, copyright claim, so the music had to uh, quickly, quickly pause. But it's fire with the ones and with the beam. But the only thing is, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this on the beam review, the only problem is I'll say with the beam is I gotta take my phone out. Is that the volume is turned up a little more with the beam um, for dialogue. It's really, you really can't hear so much from the dialogue with the beam because what I'm thinking is, since it's a very compact soundbar, so you gotta in increase the volume a bit more. But just to give you guys, just to you know, just show you guys shit. It's fire. It sounds amazing. Uh, let me put the play bar, <laughs> and let me uh, let me put two, and let me leave the ones, and then I'm gonna switch the two play threes and play fives. All right, let's go. All right, yo guys, the play bar is installed, right over there. Uh, let's get that 5.1 uh, ready. The the play ones. Still the same setup. You got play one still connected. Play one still connected. Uh, Doctor Strange, hopefully without no music. Uh, let's check it out. Hit that boom. Yeah. Love that sound. Check it out. Sounds great. Those. So I got those set up with the ones with the play bar. With the play bar, it's, I'll tell you this right now, it's, it's, it's much more louder. Again, more speakers, bigger sound bar, you know, it's just, this is no brainer. But let me, let me get the threes in there and then I'm gonna put the fives. And yeah, all right, I'll be back. All right, so I quickly installed the threes. Let's check them out. So again, just right on top of the, uh, on, the, on the five, one over here on the left side, one over here on the right side. Now, I'm just letting you guys know <laughs> it's gonna be much more bass here, uh, but let's 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 peep that right now. Let's put it on. You think you know how the world works? See that audio coming out on the other side? Audio coming out there. It's going crazy. What is real? It's what mysteries lie beyond the reach of your senses? 
But yeah, <laughs> the threes are insane, man. The threes are the threes are crazy. I'll be honest with you. But um, if the threes sound like this, you guys could only imagine what the fives are gonna sound like. But yeah, let me turn that on. I had the, uh, of course, the sub was on. Uh, the Playboy is over there, but. But yeah, let's let's get the fives in there. I mean, this shit, it's it's insane, man. It's like go to a movie theater, bro. Chill, man. Get this. There's your movie theater, man. Netflix movie theater is called. All right, let me put the fives. I'll be back. All right, you guys. So the play fives, the Coach Tech play fives are finally installed. All right, these are it. You can see them. All plugged in, ready to go. So we're just gonna put them on right now to basically see. How wild and crazy the fives are and oh my god the apartment's gonna go crazy and start shaking just give you guys the sound right now check it I mean, it's it's At the root of existence. Listen. Mine. Listen, guys, I'll be frank with you, man. The fives, the fives are the truth, man. I, I ain't gonna tell you nothing else, man. If you got the money to drop on fives, it's your various fucking do it, man. But the fives are fucking, they're epic, man. It's expensive, but listen, <laughs> the crib is gonna shake. I'm telling you, you got neighbors, you got annoying neighbors, man. Forget about it, you're done. All right, the eviction. <laughs> Fiction letter is gonna be at your door. The man's gonna drop it off. Your ass is out, man. But nah, I'll tell you, man. The fives are fire. You guys heard it from you for yourselves. Um, I try to make this review as uh, informative in the sense to demo you guys the sound because it's very difficult, especially for audio equipment, for me to actually demo to you, for you guys to actually hear. You know, YouTube is not gonna process it. Of course, I'm just letting you guys know my own personal opinion. I have the technology here. It's not like I'm making bullshit. All right, just, you know, just basically lying to you and showing you guys all this. But this is what I have. This is this is the shit I use on a daily basis. So, listen, I hope you guys learned something in this video. If you got the money to spend, definitely, you know, I'll tell you, go with the two fives as your rears and go with the play bar, you know, and, of course, the sub. And you, you guys, 5.1 surround, you guys are going to love it. But <laughs> that's that, guys. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, just tell me in the comments below what you guys think of the video. You know, what you guys actually rock with at home. What do you guys think about my setup? And just overall, so and those questions, man. But any questions, everything you got down below, you know, shoot in the comments. I'll, I'll help you guys. I'll answer it. But that's that, guys. I'm Coach Tech. Hope you guys like the vid, and I'll holler at you next time. Deuces.